Well, that's a real quickie, guys. <clears throat> I've got my resin. I've got 300 mil of resin and about 10 mil of hardener. So that should give a better ratio. I've also got this light set up here, warming up the rotor disc. So if I take my temperature reader, if you'll be able to see it, yes, yeah, it's about right, 30 degrees. Lovely, it, it was five degrees the other day and it, it doesn't like that. So I'm gonna keep checking on that, keep that below 35. Just wanted to warm this up a little bit before we get going. Make sure you're in a well ventilated space using this garbage. It's bad news, this is styrene. <clears throat> so I was reading that it doesn't like being below 15 degrees centigrade and it's definitely below 15 degrees centigrade now. Thus, if we point it, at, let's point it at that, shall we? And see what that is. There, 4.4. So don't try, if you're going to try resining in these temperatures, you need to not do that. You need to create a warm environment for the resin to cure, or it just won't have any of it. So that should be about right. But like I said, I'm keen for this to just thicken up a touch before we get going. If it hasn't started thickening up in five minutes, I'm going to put a bit more hardener in. But so yeah, what I'll do is I'll wait and then I'll I'll film. I'll get some decent light on and then I'll film pouring in and I've gone for quite a simple mould with regards to just having tape around the outside, tape on the inside. That's got a bevel, that bit of wood that's well bolted down. I'm annoyed that it ended up looking a bit messy, but it doesn't really matter. In the great grand scheme of things so yeah we'll keep waiting for this to cure and then I'll be back with you it's not bad for the resin 20 It's gone all bitty. You see, I don't know, it's part of the normal hardening process. I hope that isn't, oh dear, it's fooked. Because it is pretty old, this. But it's been stored okay, so it doesn't have an expiry date on it. South Coast Fiberglass Supplies Limited. Pretty good supply, quick delivery. expect this to start going hard so I'm going to give it a few more minutes and see what's going on. Still a little bit sloppy, it's been about five minutes and so then I'm going to go make a cup of tea and uh, come back and hopefully it's a little less viscous. Temperature on the disc is about 35. Up. Let's see what the bulb is. Woo! 350. Ooh, 333. Yeah, it's just not going hard, sod it. Starts pouring out the sides. Oh, it stinks. It stinks bad. Come on, baby, get in there. Oh, shit.
Right, camera's going off. For um, some more hard man. I'm not sure he's held on the tape. It's gone hard already. Unless it was because it had hit the uh, disc, which was 35 to 40 degrees. I'm not even sure I need that lamp on, but I'm going to leave it on for a bit. Maybe there's a stick of the stick. Oh, you damn it. Yeah, it's nearly hard already. So I know that's too quick. So I'm going to take the heat off. Then I'll cut the heat. Come back and see what we got. Looking good though. Perfect amount of red one. 300 more. I hope I can get that middle bit out. I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, apart from a couple of little faux pas, I'm trying to put metal next to the magnets and getting all the dusty crap on them. <clears throat> apart from that, that is definitely a success, we hope. 99% sure. But I mean, it's looking good already. It feels like hard rubber at the moment rather than plastic. So, it's actually, I think there's a bit of a lean, there was definitely a lean on there, that's why I panicked and put the camera down, because I was like, I don't end up with a massive wedge, so it'll be fine anyway. So yeah, I'm going to have to get some more of this, which is annoying. I'm just going to left. Probably about 50 mil in there. I'm, my brain's not working at this precise second. I'm thinking about 10 different things, but I might just order some more of that anyway because I've got a ton of resin left. <clears throat> yeah, there's at least two kilos in there, maybe even three. So. I've got to be honest, actually it annoys me that there's just nothing on there saying how much it is. You've got all this bullshit. EC bollocks, UN bollocks, bollocks them idiots. But you've got nothing about how much is in it or any ratios, look. It just doesn't say how much is in the bottle. It's weird, isn't it? So anyway... <coughs> That's where we're at, folks. So it's all good. Next to be that one. Don't forget this little beady. Hidden away. It's safety in case anyone burglarizes my premises, and I wouldn't want to lose that. I'd like to see someone burgle my house and pick that up and that up at the same, at the same time. That'd be pretty funny. I'd come home and find them stuck to the wall or something. So anyway, jolly good, <clears throat> feeling good about this, and it's coming along nicely, so thanks for watching, love you guys, peace! I've stuck it outside because it was getting a bit warm. It's 90% dry, if I push down hard on it I can feel it going a tiny little bit, so I'm going to leave it overnight and then I'll do a video when I take it out in the morning, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Sweet! <laughs>